Hello, my name is Gunjan and I want to talk about music and mathematics. And let me start with the experience I have had. I have learned tabla, I have been exposed to Morse code while growing up and I felt that it has helped me very well with mathematics and studying engineering further helped mathematics skills. So I decided to look for research that supports the idea that to learn mathematics you need to start to learn music. Let me share with you today the research that supports this argument that by learning music young children can improve their mathematics skills, performance and creativity all three together. First, uh, let me talk about key term. Uh, the idea that supports the link between music and mathematics is that spatial temporal skills when the kids learn that skill they improve mathematical skill. What is spatial temporal skill? Something that we talk both in terms of space and time, not just language. Therefore, there is a spatial component or space and time which is moving uh, in a linear fashion. And music involves having both of this. So this term I will use repeatedly or you simplify it as space and time. Now let's talk of evidence that supports the idea. First, uh, there is a wonderful research done by Dr. Akin from Turkey involving 78,000 young students and what she observed was that across this many students across several research studies they demonstrated that those who learn music in different forms either vocal or instrumental or a combination of music and math all of these groups improved mathematical skills when they learn something about music. The Indian research covering Carnatic and Hindustani music also supports this concept that by learning music, young children can improve their mathematical skills and also develop interest in mathematics. Priya and Rajini did a study involving 153 Carnatic music students and there is a study done in Kolkata across three locations by Smita Goa. Both of these ideas involving Carnatic and Hindustani music support the concept of learning music and therefore improving skills in mathematics. One of the studies, Smita Gua study actually identified and interviewed many teachers and their observations in a qualitative manner. So there is study supporting quantitative as well as qualitative insights that learning music improves mathematical skills. There is research in Spain again involving more than 200 students and China where they identified that not only mathematics skills improve, creativity in mathematics improve. So, to summarize, there is so much of evidence supporting the exposure to music for young children to improve their mathematics skills. Now, coming back to that term of spatial temporal skills, uh, how this helps, and this is something backed by evidence and my own example I'll share. Suppose uh, I'm learning tabla and learning seven beat style that we call rupak. When we learn that, the student has freedom to count seven beats as two plus seven, 3 plus 4, 3 and half plus 3 and half, 4 plus 3 or 5 plus 2. And within each beat, there is flexibility to add 2 or 3 more uh, beats in that space. And therefore, there is space and there is time. Uh, within that, there is creativity. Extending this, the Indian music, as is communicated, originated from the Vedic ideas. And if you look at Bhagavad Gita, predominantly it uses Anushrup Chand, which has four sections, each having eight syllables. And within that, there is creativity to create certain uh, shlokas. So both in Tal and in uh, the structure of music, there is involvement of space and time. And by getting exposure to these two, the children learn mathematical ideas in a very abstract form. And the learning, true learning happens when these concepts are taught in an abstract form and not just through language. So to summarize, there is very strong linkage between learning mathematics and music. Now, this is not my sentence. I think it is from Ustad Ghulam Mustafa Khan, though I am not able to identify the uh, source. What he said was, if you want to teach your children mathematics, please teach them music. And if you want to teach them music, please teach them mathematics. So in the days of uh, modern social media world, this is a very powerful insight for the parents that expose your young children to music and make sure music is enjoyable. So if they go four out of seven days, it's better if they enjoy it compared to forcing them to go seven days out of seven days and make it a very regimented routine.